Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hope that you all been having a lovely day. I have been playing a lot of balloons, TD. Popping balloons, monkeys. It's been quite lovely. <laughs> Anyhow, I uh, found a game to play today. It's called uh, Eternal Radiance. It's a uh, anime RPG kind of thing. It looked kind of interesting. I figured either we can get one game or one one day out of it, then we can switch to something else next week, or if it turns out to be actually pretty good, we can play more of it in the next couple of streams. Uh, so we're going to be hopping on into that and uh, go from there. So let us open this bad boy up and get started. Ba -da -da, white screen. All right. So this is the game. As you can see, it's very, very weeb. Oop. Not mean to hit that. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, basically, you're playing this orange-haired girl who is a squire and working her way up to become a knight. And that's pretty much all that I know about the story. So we're going to see how this goes. Start that new game. Normal, please. Ha! These training dummies will stand a chance. Take this. These training courses barely make me break a sweat anymore. It's hard to believe that I once found this difficult. I should move on to something more challenging. I can't wait till I can actually take my skills into the field. Celeste! Just wait a minute. I'm almost done. One last run through my sword stances, then I'll the finishing blow against this training dummy. All done. When you're training, it's like you're in your own little world. <laughs> like you're one to talk. Come on, I never go that far. I saw you studying in the library the other day, and no matter how many times I shouted your name, you never looked up. Joke's on you, I knew you were there the whole time. Wait, you were ignoring me? You were just going to drag me off to another wild scheme. Climbing the mountains outside the forest is not a wild scheme. It's a sort of special training. Whatever you say. You saw me take out those training dummies, right? That's the sort of skill you get for my special training exercises. Oh, just wait till the next time we spar. You've got nothing on me. Bring it. Ha <laughs> ha, you can count on it. Ha <laughs> ha, good. I'm planning on studying some magic right now. I came to see if you wanted to go with me. I'd plan to go a few more rounds against the dummies. Come on, you've practically got the sword routines memorized by now. Your use of magic, on the other hand. I'll have you know I aced our skill assessment last month. Instructor Katrina said I'm one of the most efficient mana users she's ever seen. Your man is one thing. Using magic is another. Ah, you're just nitpicking. That's why you're falling behind me in our magic studies. Well, there you are, Celeste. I've been looking all over for you. Huh? I almost always train at this time, you know that. Details, details. Do you need me for something? Would I be looking for you if I didn't? I was searching all over. Do you know how many things I could have gotten done in the time it took me to find you? Sorry, Instructor. Nah, I'm just kidding. Barely took five minutes. I'll never understand her sense of humor. Anyway, Sir Zacharias needs your help immediately. Better hurry. Immediately, this will be something important. I'll go right away. He's waiting for you in the war room. Don't tell me you got into trouble. No, I'm sure it's nothing like that. I'll catch up with you soon. Right. Good luck. Oh, Celeste, hey, Tabitha. I'm surprised to see you. Usually, once you start training, you're in there for hours. I'm on my way to the war room. Sir Zacharias wanted to talk to me? Really? Why? I have no idea. You didn't climb to the roof again, did you? I only did that once. <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, I really need to get going. Whatever this is about, I'll find out soon. Good luck. I'll be in the library if you need me. Haha, <laughs> okay. Sir, I came as soon as I got your message. You've come a long way, Celeste. Thank you, sir. I remember when you first joined us. You looked so small then. I could scarcely imagine you'd grow into such a fine squire. I do my best, sir. Where's he going with this? Now this day has arrived, I'm sure you have many questions. What day, sir? Didn't Instructor Katrina tell you? No, she just said I needed to go immediately. I should have known. Well, I called you today because I have a special mission for you. Just me, sir? 
That's right. It'll be difficult, but I'm confident you can handle it. Never done a solo mission before, but if the leader of our order has faith in me, then I'll give my best shot. As I said, you've come a long way. It's not good to keep a promising squire like you here behind our walls. It's time for you to prove yourself. Does he mean what I think I means? This is your initiation, Celeste. Complete this task, and you'll be recognized as a true knight of the Ashen Order. Main quest from Sir Zacharias, Knight's Initiation. Yes, after all this time. I won't let you down, sir. I'm glad to hear it. You don't need to look quite so serious, though. I know this is a proud occasion. I haven't passed yet, sir. It's only a matter of time. He's really confident in my skills. I've been doing better in practice, but this is the real deal. Still, this is finally it. I'll finally be a knight. I can't wait to write home with the good news. As you know, the Ashen Order was founded to protect people from the dangerous monsters that roam our world. Yes, sir. When Derencia's civilization was struggling to survive due to the constant danger, the Order's founders banded together to fight off the threats so that humanity could flourish. This isn't a quiz, Squire. Sorry. But since you're so interested in demonstrating your skills... What's the second half of our mission? Finding, containing, and studying the artifacts left behind by the, uh, Aclium, sir. Correct. Due to the nature of the artifacts, the two are often intertwined, such is the case with your mission. You're sending me to treat one of the artifacts? That's right. I won't let you down. Oh, not at all intimidated by retrieving your first artifact? It's one of the duties I took up on my sign on, sir. Good. I need more women and women like you. Where's the artifact, sir? It's in a forest near the town of Ankora. There's a ship waiting for you. Follow me. As usual, the pace is bustling with activity. I have squires training and the knights running through their own practice exercises over there. I even see a few researchers discussing their latest attempts to understand the artifacts. After so many years, this place has become my home. It'll feel strange leaving, even if it's just for a mission. Once you reach Ankora, gather as much information as you can to proceed safely. Retrieve the artifact, then return to the ship. Here, enchanted pouch. What's this? Carry the artifact in this pouch for your own safety. The cloth has been enchanted by our mages to contain the artifact's power. All right. Have any more questions before you leave? Now I'm good. No more questions. In that case, it's time for you to be off. Don't you forget to practice your skills. Even the best knights need to stay in practice. A new side quest from Zacharias, Skills of the Squire. Okay, right. The ship is waiting for you. You can board as soon as you're ready. Training room. Talk. Katrina. Well, well, back already from your big meeting. Got the exciting news, huh? Yes, now you're all fired up and ready to go. Give me for enlightenment, for advice, for wisdom. Um, oh, who am I kidding? You're not here for me. You're looking for your buddy. He's in the library. Oh, I thought, uh... I could like quests. Skill of a squire to make sure she's prepared. Slush should take some time to practice some of the skills she's learned. Perform a speed roll, perform a dash charge, perform a guard counter. Okay. I figured going to the training room would do that for me, but uh, apparently not. Library, talk, eh, war room, no one's there, talk to random people, also my mouse is kind of, there, there we go, okay, let's go on the ship, let's go, all right, I'm ready to go, good luck Celeste, do the order proud, I will sir, oh what about Quinn, so Zacharias, will you let Quinn know where I'm going, of course, thank you sir, this is it, time for my first solo mission and my initiation into the Ashen Order. Otters. Haven't been on a ship since I first became a squire. Ah, my parents were so proud of me. When they had to leave, everything suddenly felt so final. I knew I wouldn't see them again for years. I wanted to run back and beg for them to stay with me. I knew they couldn't. My only choice would have been to go with them and give up my dream. So I composed myself and tried to look strong, like a knight. But when the ship left the port, I started to cry anyway. Sir Zacharias was the one who calmed me down. I felt like I had humiliated myself, but he reassured me that everyone felt the way sometimes. There's no shame in showing emotion, he said. Compassion is not weakness. Ha! It's been a long time since I thought about that day. 
It left me more determined than ever to become a knight just like Sir Zacharias, who... So I could protect people? Well, this is it. I have to help the people of Encora, and once I do, I'll become a full knight of the Ashen Order. Whatever happens, I won't fail. It's going to be a while before reaching Cora, so I might as well make myself comfortable. A well-rested knight is ready for everything. It was a long journey, but at last the ship entered the waters of the Azure Bay and docked at Encora. My mission had officially begun. This is Encora. Um, there's so many people here. Ah, who do I talk to? Where do I go? Don't panic, don't panic. Are you alright? Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. My name's Ruby. Celeste, I'm with the Ashen Order. Ha. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. You just aren't what I expected from the Ashen Order. That's all. I'm still a squire. That explains it then. And you're here on your own? Yep, it's my first official mission. It's my initiation. Congratulations. I haven't passed yet. From what I've heard about the Ashen Order standards, even reaching this point is a big accomplishment. Thank you. So, do you need help? All right, I know what I'm supposed to do. Enough panicking. Tell me anything about the strange incidents that have been occurring in the forest lately? I'm afraid I won't be much help for you there. I'm a stranger in Ancora too. You are? Yes, I come from up north. I'm a scholar and I recently traveled to Ancora in pursuit of my research. I see. These incidents in the forest wouldn't have anything to do with a mysterious organization, would they? Not as far as I know. Oh well, it's worth a try. What's... that's what you're researching? A mysterious organization? Yes. Isn't that a little... vague? We don't know much about them. Most people doubt they even exist. I'm on my own when it comes to this research. I see. One day I'll find what I'm looking for. Till then, I just have to keep working. For someone who isn't from this town, you sure seem comfortable here. That's because it's such a lovely place. Oh. You haven't traveled much, have you? Is it that obvious? Yes. Well, I might not be from around here, but I can tell you one important thing about Ancora. What's that? If you enjoy fish, it has the best food ever. You don't like fish? Why did information about food be such an important thing? Because it's delicious. I'm on an important mission. You can't do an important mission without energy. Actually, I'm supposed to be gathering information about the area, not. And what better way to learn more about Ankora than by trying its world famous takoyaki? Takoyaki? Got your attention, did it? Now, Mom used to make takoyaki all the time back home. They sell takoyaki right over there, so if you want to try some, because it couldn't hurt, I'll just consider it part of my mission to understand Ankora better. As the spirit, follow me this way. This is really good. I thought you'd like it. So they make the takoyaki with freshly caught seafood. That's right, and Cora's seafood is its pride and joy. There must be more than just takoyaki, then. Of course there is. If you want, I'll give you a tour of the best places to eat sometime. Mission. I need to concentrate on my mission. You're really focused, aren't you? It's incredibly important. Well, what about once you complete your mission, then? We'll see. I'll need to report back, and once I'm a full knight, I might have more responsibilities that need my attention. That doesn't sound fun. Being a knight of the Ashen Order isn't about having fun. It's about protecting people and keeping, uh, uh Derencia safe. Okay, okay. Better not waste too much time here. So, you said your mother used to make takoyaki? That's right, it was one of my favorites when I was a little girl. Don't you see your parents anymore? They don't live in Drencora. Uh, Derencia, that. We've only had a few vi quick visits since I joined the Ashen Order. And my parents live far away too. I just visit them regularly, though. They haven't. They've always supported my research. My parents supported my dream to become a knight. That reminds me, I'll have to respond to the letter sometime. Why the Ashen Order? Huh? I mean, you traveled to different continents to join the Order of Knights. Why not become a warrior a little closer to home? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. the Ashen Order's elite. It's true they have a pretty grand reputation. It's more than just reputation. When it comes to their skill and expertise, the Ashen Order is second to none. So you didn't just want to be a knight, but the best of the best. Exactly. I wanted the sort of training and opportunities only the Ashen Order could give me. You're proud to be a member, aren't you? Yes. In that case, I'd better not hold you up too long. You have a mission to complete. That's right. 
Thank you for the takoyaki, though. It was delicious. We'll have to do this again sometime. And how much was it? I should pay you. Nonsense, it was my treat. Think of it as a token of our friendship. Friendship that we just met. Or if you prefer, consider it a donation to the Ashen Order's cause. <laughs> Good luck on your mission. And if it helps at all, I heard rumors of something strange that's been happening in the forest. What sort of rumors? I've been focused on my own work, but it sounds like things are more dangerous around here than they usually are. Ask around, I'm sure you'll find people willing to talk about it. Thank you, I will. So far so good. I already made contact with one person, and got some delicious takoyaki out of it. Hmm. I should start gathering information about the incidents in the forest. Since fishing is a huge part of Encore's livelihood, the fishermen must know something about what's going on. That gentleman there looks like he just came in from a fishing trip, let's give that a try. Shouldn't we talk to hunters, since they're people who would be out in the forest or something, right? Sir, what do you want? You're a fisherman, right? That's right, one of the best. Name's Grad Grady? I'm with the Ashen Order. I've been sent here to... Oh, so now the Ashen Order shows up. Well, we act as fast as we... Ha! Isn't here, Missy. Your Ashen Order doesn't care one bit about Encora unless there's something in for them. Old Aldius is the only one protecting us. Sure. Oh, I'll bet. This portrait should take a long time to reach that nice little fortress of yours. Since the Ashen Order deals with problems all across Trincora, uh, Terencia, sometimes things take time, but I assure you. And what did he do when he saw the report? Sent some half grown girl to help? I'm a squire, about to become a full knight of the Order, thank you very much. Explains a lot about the Order. Try to rile me up. He told me where uh, there would be situations like this. If she's in a situation, try to find some common ground. How's the fishing business? Do you know anything about fishing? Well, not much. Figures. I know it's vitally important to Ancora, however. That's right, without fishing, this town would still be a tiny village. And do people remember and thank the fishermen? Of course not. Sorry. Life gets too good and people forget about the what made the possible. Kids wanting to grow up to live life of luxury without putting in the work. Sure, things in the forest haven't made things any easier either. Darn right they haven't. Sure, it's fine out there on the water, but how's anyone supposed to sell fish when people are dying? Dying? Dying to those damn goblins out there. <laughs> Should have wiped them out years ago. You mean the goblins have been in the forest all this time, but it's only become a problem recently? That's what most people will tell you. You know what? It was always a problem waiting to happen. We should have crushed them from the start. I'll handle your goblin problem. You will? Yeah, that's why I'm here. More or less. Ha! Ah, now we're talking. Wipe the buggers out. We'll do whatever seems necessary. Anyway, you want to know more about the problem? Head into town. May have seen the worst of it. I'll do that, thank you. I got work to do. Gotta make up for what I've lost. So the goblins in the forest have been causing problems for the people of Makora. Must be the work of the artifact. <sighs> Let's move on. Hmm. The Marcus is a bit emptier than I thought it would be, given a core size. Uh, I wonder if this is a side effect of the attacks. Looks like they sell just about everything here. Food, weapons, armor. Excuse me, could you give me a hand? Me? Yes, you. I'm sorry to bother you, but you look very capable, and I'm not sure I can do this on my own. Trees will be struggling with some sort of vendor's tent. Looks a bit out of place. I don't see anything else like it around here. What exactly are you trying to do? I need to set up my stand, but I can't seem to get the tent open on my own. Why do you need a tent? In case it rains, of course. Everyone else seems to have some more permanent structure. That seems better than a folding tent above the table. So, a little help here? Sure, why not? Really? Thanks. What do you need me to do? Just grab the end there and pull outward. Outward? Don't you need to go up? It needs to expand first. Well, all right. It's her tent, she should know. I'll just grab the side of this and pull like she wants me to. Great, now the other side. For someone who's having so much trouble a minute ago, you sure seem to know what you're doing. I practiced with another person. I just made the mistake of assuming I could do it alone once I knew how it worked. I don't think anyone can handle this alone. Unless they had really long arms. Yeah, thanks for that. No problem. Helping people is why I'm here. You're not from Encora, are you? Nope, I'm with the Ashen Order. My name's Celeste. Nice to meet you, Celeste. I'm Maria. I'm an enchanter. An enchanter? 
Enchanting is a special type of magic that lets you add special properties to weapons and armor. That sounds useful. It is. Now that I have officially have my enchanter's license, I've come to Encore to set up shop. You don't mind me asking, why didn't you just get a regular shop then? I mean, I see signs advertising places for sale. I just need to make sure it's going to work out first. Huh? Business might not be good here. If I see if I can establish a customer base here first, and if not, I'll have to move on. Hence the tent. I may be able to travel with it, just in case. If I decide to stay, then I'll look into something more permanent. I see. One thing at a time, I have my license, I have my stand, and soon I'll have customers lined up as well. I'm not ready yet, but I should be in a few days. Then you can't help me now? I'll be in a few days. I won't be here in a few days. Then if you ever return, I'll be all set up and ready to help. Well, it could be useful to, for my work as a knight to have an enchanter ally. So, what did you mean when you said you were here to help people? Do you know anything about what's going on in the forest? I know what everyone else knows. Rampage of goblins, death, and destruction. A request from aid sent to the Ashen Order. Well, I'm here now, and I'm going to take care of things. Are you sure you can? No offense, I'm sure you're a great knight, but you're just one person going up against an entire forest worth of goblins. I'm not going to fight all the goblins. I just need to find the artifact, and then things should settle down. You mean from Alkine? Yes, we believe there's one in the forest. I saw an Alkine artifice once. I even touched it. What was it like? It's strange. It's hard to describe. Even when I try, I... Sorry, I just don't know how to explain it. Even our top researcher are, uh, have troubles talking about the artifacts. If a knight from the Ashen Order hasn't shown up, I'm not sure what would have happened. I probably wouldn't be here. Don't worry. I'm here to take this artifact. And then, peace will return to Encora. You sound pretty confident. I'm sure your our fates are in your hands. You'll have to put it like that. Anyway, there are guards on duty at the town gates. They might be able to give you more details. Thanks, I'll talk to them. Well, I'm sure you have a lot to do. I need to start getting things ready, too. See you soon, Celeste. Right. Uh, can we move on? Oh my god, Celeste! Please, let's go! Look for something, I can point you in the right direction. I run the local land. Hi, I'm New Hancora, yada yada yada. Um, yes, quite serious. Quite serious. This is about the trouble in the forest, I assume. Yes, how bad is it? Pretty bad. How about the situation? So I started about three weeks ago. Goblins went berserk. I understand. Didn't have any problems with them before. Well, there were always a danger. The travelers in the forest, but as long as you didn't venture in the forest, we're safe. Oh, has that changed? Yes, it changed. Three weeks ago, I was managing the inn. When I heard screams outside, goblins were running through the streets. I'd never seen a goblin up close before. It was terrifying. Could you tell me if there was anything? Uh, from what I saw, all they wanted to do was spread destruction. Her voice was shaking. It must have been pretty bad. They attacked everyone they saw, and even tried to break into houses. Now, things look safe now, though. Has the situation changed? I'm afraid not. After that day, the guards tightened security, and Lord Aldeus sent in reinforcements. They've been keeping strict watch all around Akora. A few goblins have slipped through from time to time, but the guards have held the rest back. They're wearing down, though, even with Lord Aldeus' help. So then, we'll probably won't be able to launch longer for the goblins to manage another strike. I'm afraid so. Okay. This is a strange behavior that definitely consistent with the presence of an artifact. To the truth is depressing. Does this mean we won't ever be safe here again? We believe the artifact might be causing it. We're coming to get it, yada yada. Uh, when, when the goblins are behaving this way, cause the artifact magic to do something to them. Most likely, yeah, I don't understand why do artifacts affect monsters. It affects humans too. Yeah, we don't understand the artifacts. Fuck it. I'm not gonna go on an expose. I always wondered. The outcome are pretty advanced, right? It doesn't sound like this sword would make such horrible devices. What are the artifacts were actually left behind by their enemies? One of any possibilities, we're keeping in mind that we study them. Well, I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Bye. Oh no. Uh, give you something to help. Huh? All right. The end is this way. Follow me. Oh my god. Looks like a nice inn. I wonder if this place has suffered because of the attacks. We need a place to stay. I can offer you our best room. Thank you, but I don't think I'll be here long. I understand. Here you go. Here's some mana and health potions. Nice. What are these? Just a few things you might help. Okay, thank you. I'll be much to repay you. Uh, take care of the situation, and it'll pay me over and over again. Okay, thank you, bye. Let me see now. Oh, God, another person. This is one of the guards, Ray, I mentioned. I'm sure he'll have information about what's going on in the forest. Excuse me. What's going on over there? Is that a funeral? He was one of our best men, too. Did he die because of goblin attacks? He's one of the town guards like me. 
Oh. We try to keep in course safe, but we can only do so much. If something isn't done soon, there may not be many more funerals after this is over. Sorry, if only I'd got here sooner. Sorry, I didn't kill myself. I'm Celeste with the Ashen Order. I'm Jared, Ashen Order, huh? Starting to think the Ashen Order would never send someone to help. Certain Sir Zacharias acted as fast as he could. Not fast enough for those who have already fallen. We've done our best to keep people from panicking, but the situation is just getting worse every day. I'm sorry. Doesn't change anything. I know all I can say is that I'll do everything in my power to be sure the time ends. All right. Nothing else can say to make this better. Oh, if only Sir Zacharias sent me here earlier. Puzzles this are exactly why Lord Elias decided we needed an army. Every one of us will get our lives put this town necessary. The best to make sure it doesn't come to that. Thank you. Uh, any aid I can offer is appreciated. Uh, we'll do everything we can to keep course safe. I'm going to the forest to cure the situation. Is anything information you can give me? Uh, just the goblins attack fiercely without mercy. They're like, they're possessed. I understand. If you're going to stop the madness, that's the plan. Wish I could go with you. Well, I'm prepared to do this alone. I would accept help. Unfortunately, I have to stay here at my post. I see. Someone has to go to town, even if uh, we're on here at our post, we will let them have a battle. I understand. Besides, the goblins have us outmatched. Defense is all we can do. I'll take care of it. I remember the Ashen Order. I'm going to be a knight. I have to prepare for this. I'm talking about something like this in a classroom. Yada, yada, yada. Is he going to be okay? I'm fine. You need to sit down or something. No one will mind if you use the guard barracks. Knights are extremely common around here, but we are all on the same side, so. No, it's fine. I'm fine. Wish I could stop repeating that. Uh, I don't mean any offense, which is what everyone says right before they offend you. You seem kind of new. I'm a squire. That explains it. Don't look down on the order. Why? Why would I? I'm just afraid you might judge them based on our behavior. But I'm just a squire. The nice the order would handle this better. I didn't mean to imply you weren't handling it badly. What do you mean then? Look at your gear. What's wrong with my gear? This is top notch stuff. Sure, for someone still training. What's that supposed to? If you're heading into real danger and you need gear that's up to the task, why would the Ashen Order send me out unprepared? Maybe it's part of your initiation. I mean, asking around for information seems to be part of it. So I bet properly equipping yourself is too. That makes sense. You have some extra armor and spare sword you can use. Okay. What? No, no. I don't want to put you out. It's fine. They belong to a guard who won't be needing them anymore. If you're really here to help us, I'm sure you want you to have them. Thank you. If you need anything else, just shout. I will. All right. Feeling better now. Definitely here. Uh, I feel like there's an artifact in the forest. That should be my next stop. Bye. Uh, menu. Equipment. So without ever using the squire sword, I already got a increased bonus, huh? Nice. No rings, okay, that's fine. So there's a sword marker next to the market. Huh. Maybe it's because the, uh, ah, right here. Gotcha. An ornamental sword. Do I have any gold? I have 40 gold. Okay. What can I sell? I sell some squire stuff. Uh, add? Okay. And then sell? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, exit. Let's go to the world map. Okay. Interesting, interesting. To Ornwood! Let's go. All right. Now, hopefully we can get past all this dialogue and into the actual combat and fighting of the game. Something strange here. Air feels heavy. Now that that's quite it. It doesn't feel right to me. Well, the research says difficulty to be near the artifact for very long. While they're studying it, they take regular breaks. No matter how well the research is going. The reports include dizziness, nausea, disorientation. At least there's only one artifact here. Shouldn't be too bad for effect on me. I just need to find it and contain it. But if the goblins are riled up, reaching it won't be easy. I gotta be careful. Press left to move the character around on the screen. Okay. Okay. And then A jumps. Do anything with these. Y blocks. Okay. Right or left bumper pulls up my magic. That is that. I can even roll in midair somehow. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, the camera movement. Way too quick. Hold on. Uh, options.
Okay, that's still too fast. <laughs> Okay, that is better. Right, what's this? I pin gold, glowing crystal, and a damp cloth. Okay. Press X to perform an attack. Press B to perform heavy attack. Heavy attacks will restore mana and fully damaged enemies if they're not guarding. Hmm. Press R to lock onto an enemy. Uh, targeting, press left to right with the R stick to cycle through targets. Left mouse button plus that to use abilities. Uh, the abilities, HUD, visibility is delayed in the aftermath. Okay. Uh, while holding down Y, you're careful guard against incoming attacks. This limits movement and will reduce the amount of damage you take. Okay. What up, goblins? Can I combo? Yeah, it looks like not really. I can go into, uh, like, stuff. I can go into, like, medium or heavy attacks from small attacks, but... Left mouse button? Ah, some healing potions. But yeah, I can go into, like, I can go light, light, heavy, heavy. I can go light, 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 heavy, heavy, but it, like, same stuff it looks like. It doesn't really chain well. Yeah. At least there's not a stamina gauge. That's nice. I hate stamina in games. Okay. Can I get a bigger view of the map? Like, no, 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 no. Well, it's every button. Unless. Nope. Well, I tried. The, uh, the camera really likes to move itself. Is there a way to, like, turn that off? Uh, camera with fault to fault. Hmm. Not really, huh? It seems to want to give, like, a side shot of everything, not like a back shot. So I've got to like constantly be like moving the stick a little bit. Now it's just moving by itself. What the hell? Okay. It's gonna take some getting used to, but we can do this. Roll can be used to evade attacks. If you time it right with an attack lands, you can perform a speed roll, which makes you invulnerable damage briefly. Huh. Speed roll increase your movement and speed temporarily and allow you to do a dash charge while the speed roll is active. A right trigger dash charge is an ability to let you close the gaps between enemies. Okay. Guard counter. Two ways to form a guard counter. You can either use a guard right when the attack hits, or you can enter guard stance and use the attack when the attack hits. First method is more difficult to execute, has fewer detection frames, but either will trigger guard counter. It gives you a 100% critical strike chance for your next few attacks, allowing you to do more damage. You can deal more damage to enemies by attacking them from behind. This also applies to Celeste when she gets attacked. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. I'm trying to guard. Hold on. Ho oh, ho, get shit on. I did it. Let's take a couple of them out. Okay. Did it? Ah. I need to do three of these, I think. Okay, there we go. Oops. Got it. Easy. So that, that quest checked off. Yep. Guard counter three times done. So I need to do the speed roll and the dash now, which would be that before getting hit. Okay. Thank God I've been playing Valheim recently, so I'm, like, actually knowing how to, like, parry stuff. <laughs> Parrying's always hard if you haven't done it for a while. 
Oh, wait, is that a chest? Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A shield ring. Plus four defense. Nice. Don't do it. Don't you do it, camera. Mini map. Oh. You can toggle the minimap size on the screen by either hitting a smaller lock by pressing L. Oh, okay. Consumables, you can quickly use by pressing up, which is a shortcut to access the inventory screen. Uh, game guides, you can change the difficulty of the game at any time during the game. Put the game off the screen. If you want to change the input keys, you can also do that in the options menu. If you want to view the tutorial again, you can view them by opening the library section. Okay. Come here, Gobby. Gotcha. Also, I actually clicked the button. Ho oh, ho! Easy! Get fucking wrecked, you nerds. Oh my god, the camera! Please stop moving. Okay. New ability, quick attacks. Talent tree. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Range damage. A range damage. I don't have a bow, so I guess we just put points into melee right now. So I got quick attacks, which uh, moves forward very quickly with her sword to deal high single target damage. Meh. Single target. Okay. This area has been searched for the most part. Let's go take out some gobbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't run. Oh, you're a caster, huh? That's why you're running. You can press L and R to do your finisher ability once you have a full bar. Okay. I'm not gonna do that to one goblin. I'm really confused what the camera is supposed to be doing. Like, is it supposed to be staying on her, her right like this? Is that what the thing is? I guess so. That makes it so hard to see stuff, though. Why is it not, like, behind her? There's got to be an option for that, right? This is going to be a little bit nauseating, I think. Well, it's holding steady now. What the hell? Oh, now it's, now it's fucked. Is it my controller, maybe? Is my controller being a dumb bitch? I mean, I'm not even touching it, and it just kind of did that. All right. Let's go. Damn. Well, he thrashed him, didn't we? I think I'm going to change the uh, camera distance to far. It didn't seem to change. It looks exactly like it did before, actually. That was supposed to be like a, a very minimal amount. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like the camera. Ouch. Okay. 
Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way back from the start? Oh man, that sucks. Okay. You know, ideally in a game, you want the camera to not move unless you fucking tell it to move. God damn it. I don't know if I can keep- I don't know if I can keep playing this, it's making me sick. Like anytime I like move the, the left stick around a little bit to try and like move to a different person, it just it just starts like bobbing a little bit. Just like moving. Shouldn't do that. Also, I can see your panties. Nice. Okay. I wish I had a third, like, thumb, so I could have one, one thumb constantly on the, uh, the joystick that moves the camera to, like, hold it steady, to just, like, counteract the, like, the, the constant, like, left movement that's going on. While I'm running, I've been holding, like, just, just barely left, or I'm just barely right on the camera, so it doesn't move. <laughs> and I can't do that while I'm attacking. And it is, uh, hurting me. Ugh, got it. Can't do the pair anymore. What the hell? Use a healing potion. Oh wow. By small healing potion, they really meant small healing potion, huh? It's almost impressive how small that healing potion was. Well, I guess locking in combat would avoid the uh, whole camera movement thing. Damn it. Ow. Oops, too early. Come on, man, hit me again. Let's go. I need one more, I think. Come on. Oops, too early. You're wrecked. Okay. Wasn't there something behind this tree, or was I mistaken? Mistaken, okay. Okay. Let's equip that ring that I did not get this time, apparently. Okay. Ow. 
Ow. I think it's best to dodge and not guard. Guard, uh, definitely get me fucked up, I think. Ugh. Damn it. Uh, there we go. Wow, imagine damaging me while I'm doing a finishing move. Unfair. I'm sorry, did that standard healing potion not heal? I just didn't hit it apparently? Okay. Don't get hit. That's all you gotta do. Just don't get hit. I got a balance ring. Okay. And it's such like a little sweet spot where you have to like move the stick to like not have the camera rotate by itself. Damn it. Stop changing the target. Okay, I think I'm done with this game. I think we're done there. All right, well, everyone, that was uh, Eternal Radiance. Uh, yeah. If the camera was better and didn't move by itself, uh, I, I would play more of it, but no. It was like 20 bucks on Steam, if you uh, are into that. Uh, you can check it out and get it yourself. Yeah. Anyway... I'm not going to be playing more of that, so let's boot up another game. And, uh, we will be playing that. Blah, blah, blah. Just changing stuff around real quick, and now i got to edit the scene to add the game in there. All right, hello everyone, welcome to Balloons. It's a tower defense game. I'm sure if you've been following my YouTube channel, you've seen it um, being played on my uh, Plague Cast discussion where I talked about how much this game is addicting and how I'm level 116. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. All right, let's go. So, as you can see, I've been trying to get certain medals um, as I've been going through stuff. And right now I'm concentrating on getting the, like, Magic Monkeys, the Alternative Rounds, and the Double HP Balloons, because those are the easiest ones to get on the hard one. And then you get, like, a bunch of cash when you do it, too. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And so what I've been liking to... Yeah, on the later ones, I start with, like, a Ninja Monkey, because he can do uh, camo defense and stuff like that, right? But uh, we'll just start with the Dart Monkey right now, because we're not too... We're not on a hard map, essentially. This guy, should we be able to just hit that one? There we go. Okay. So we're going to wait up, or save up, until we can get Benjamin. And we're going to toss Benjamin down to earn a little bit extra money at the end of the round. Also, let me go ahead and increase the, the volume and stuff here for you guys. Because it's nice and satisfying. Okay. So a couple of balloons will get through, but that's fine. Don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bum, 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 bum. 
Ugh. Okay. Let's get down. I think we'll save him for a ninja monkey. Get him down so we can pop the camouflage balloons that are coming in a couple of rounds here. We also won't have to wait for uh, that to go like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this dart monkey. And we'll replace him with that. Okay. Going to get the uh, ninja discipline first, which will allow me to pop more balloons or do faster and increase attack speed, as you can see here. Next, we'll get the uh, Seeking Shuriken, which flies and seeks out balloons, so we won't have to worry about throwing in a straight line. Sharper Shuriken, which pops more balloons, so we can do a lot more damage. And it'll be easy peasy. Now we practically don't have to do anything for a little bit. Until the, uh, the metal balloons come, we don't really have much of a threat. So that's what we're going to get up next, is our metal balloon popper. Which is going to be the sniper monkey with a full metal jacket on it. Hell yeah. That'll increase his fire rate. Now we should very rarely see balloons getting past this line here. At least for a little bit. Our next threat is the camouflaged uh, metal balloons. So what we need to get next is this uh, magic monkey. I'm gonna have him target strong, get wall of fire, that's for the metal. Or the lead balloons as they're called. And then we'll get Intense Magic, and we'll get Monkey Sense, so we can hit Camouflaged Metal, or Camouflaged Lead Balloons. Now we're good on that fact. So the next thing we have to worry about is the Moab round, because we don't have anything to take Moab down. But that's what this uh, Sniper Monkey's for. We're going to start building up his tree to get the... I think it's... Uh, well, I forget what it's called. It's called the... Mame Moab, which basically stun locks Moabs, which is very useful. And at this point, it's just a matter of waiting for money to come in, because the Moab round is level 40. So if we can get the Moab main before then, we're going to be good to go, which honestly, on hard difficulty, you can get the last two levels of the Sniper Monkeys thing in the last 10 before the Moab. So we definitely have the Moab Mamer here before uh, it shows up. Uh, gotta wait for some money. The next five rounds, I want to build up our economy. So we're going to be getting some banana farms. Because those guys can handle everything here until around like 40 at least. Okay, so plop that down there. Value banana. get another monkey banana farm here. 
there. And we'll do one more, I think. We should be good. Okay. So the next round that's going to be hard is going to be 50... What is it? 50, uh, 59? That's when the camo lead balloons come, but we already got a counter to that. I do want something else that can take it down, though, and we just need to get volume control, which is just a lot of balloons coming through at the same time. We need to get that taken care of. So let's get Shimmer first. That'll allow uh, the Magic Monkey. He'll be able to expose everything around him uh, in that radius to uh, anything camo he'll reveal. Pretty simple there. I think we'll also grab this Ninja Monkey's last upgrade that I'm going to get on him, which is the Sticky Bomb to take down Moabs faster. And then I also want someone who can just hit everywhere on the map. So we're going to grab this Sniper Monkey, give him his first couple upgrades here. He's going to be targeting first, the other one's targeting strongest. And we're just going to wait until we can get the semi-automatic upgrade for him. That way he can pretty much just automatically fire at everything and just destroy everything. Good times. Almost there, and got it. Boom. Let him just do his thing now. So now we have pretty much good coverage until level 59. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just finish upgrading these to the point that I want them. Oh, I don't have to have my mouse constantly over that little field of bananas. Go. Okay, now there's auto collect. Give me a little bit more. All that good stuff. Okay. We are starting to leak a little bit here, or at least leak by my standards. So I'm going to get this Druid boy. He has a very nice ability, which is Druid of the Storm, which allows you to push back balloons away from the exit. So you'll see some tornadoes coming out of him here every so often. And they'll just kind of push balloons backwards. Let's grab another one of these markets. As you can see, the balloons are coming in a lot quicker now. So I definitely want to get this Sniper Monkey up to his next tier to help pop things a little bit faster. Got it. Now, as you can see, he's, he's firing fully automatic, just constantly just destroying shit. Excellent ability. I'm actually starting to rake in a lot of money. I'm going to toss down another one of these. Okay. Let's do one more. And then we have to focus on actually defending and not economy. Okay. The easy rounds are basically done. Congratulations. 63 is going to be the trial, though. 63 will make or break your run. So, we need to try and stop that from happening. another sniper monkey down to target things that are closer to him. 
That way you can kind of pop in the middle of the field. Okay, we're doing pretty good on 63. Yeah, okay. Doing good, doing good. Let's get a magic monkey down right here. We're going to go the top row and the second row. He's going to target strongest because we need to do a little more against Moabs. They are going to be coming at us. I think the next hard one is like 75. So we got uh, enough to kind of keep us above water for right now. We got plenty of track, though. They haven't made it past this point, so we're doing pretty well. So I'm going to get this Arcane Spike, which does a lot of damage to Moabs. That way he can help take stuff down, which will be nice and good. There we go. Okay. What to get next? Everything that I mainly get is finished now. I guess I can get the uh, glue gunner up to glue liquefier. So he just melts balloons nice and good. Round 69. Nice. Okay. I'm going to not buy anything else for a little bit. Should be able to hold for quite a while now. First case scenario, I'll buy this if we really need to. When they start getting here, I'll buy it. But shouldn't have to. get past the first loop. Gosh darn. It would work. Okay. Looking good so far. I don't think I'll have enough money for what I want, but that's alright. That happens. How much did these sell for? 4,000, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 24,000 I can get, right? Six times four is 24. Hold. Good job. 78 is also kind of sketchy. Four, five, yeah, I don't have enough. Okay, bye, the defender. Let's go. Oh, I was going to get this one, but I'm not going to have that much money by the end of these last couple of rounds. It's not really going to be worth it. So I think I'll go ahead and just sell these to get enough to get the Arch Wizard final upgrade. I can also go ahead and buy the Necromancy guy here. Okay. 
Let's go. Prince of Darkness! Alright, we win. The last round is by far the easiest of the 80 rounds. Uh, after you get past 63. If you hold through 63, you, you've got it. Because all you have to do is deal with the Moabs. No, the, no like, huge amounts of crazy shit. We also made, like, $91,000 that round, so... Good shit. All right. Mission complete. Subject so been kind of going up through uh, the meat, the hard maps, doing the stuff around there. Uh, I actually, I think I completely finished one map. I don't know where the hell it's at, though. Was it Monkey Meadow? No. I thought I completed chimps on one of them. Maybe I didn't. I think I was trying to do chimps on monkey meadows but uh i ended up not being able to do that because chimps is hard as fuck I'm trying to do them that one too but i couldn't shame anyway let's go to like an advanced map how about it you can see as you go from here to like here <laughs> the amount of metals that i've gotten on the maps really declines a bit which uh because they're hard this is an easy one right here Let's do that. So let's see. We have Apocalypse. Oh boy, the Apocalypse round. So Apocalypse, I think I actually played in the uh, Plague Cast video. But as soon as you press play, the game does not stop. You can't pause it. Uh, you can slow it down a little bit. Or you can have it go normal time. But I, I run on full speed all the time. Uh, there's no breaks. No extra money at the end of the rounds. Uh, it sucks. So... Here we go. Ninja Monkey first. That was a bad spot. I should have put him further back over this way, but... It's not bad. Alright, we're gonna speed up. I'm gonna add my Dark Monkey here. Get Ninja Discipline. We won't be able to get Benjamin for a little while, unfortunately. We just have to worry about getting stuff popped. We only have to last till round 60, though, which seems like it'd be easier since all the hard rounds are before 60. Or all the hard rounds are after 60. But unfortunately, as you can see, just because I'm not getting a break and I'm not getting the extra money generated at the end of what a round would be, I'm dealing with less money and I'm also dealing with a harder problem here. I'm gonna get a sniper monkey next, just to kind of help me out against uh, stuff getting past. Or, or, I get a sub over here. I'm gonna get a sub first, because they're more expensive. Okay. So yeah, the sub can't attack anything right now, but he will be able to help out here immensely in just a moment. You can destroy that. Save me a couple of lives. Come on. A little more. There we go. Boop. Okay. I got someone to pop stronger balloons. Which means the everyone else is basically doing catch up now. Excellent. Hold strong, submarine, hold strong. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm gonna grab this one next. That way he can uh, start helping out over here. Ready, set, and go. <laughs> so now anything in range of this guy or this guy, the sub can now attack. So the sub's got a range of like over here and then right here. Next thing I need is this one. So that when the metal balloons come, I can actually start helping with those. 
and actually start helping with a lot of the uh, other stuff that's going to be causing problems. Oh yeah, this is where we break. We might lose. Yep, we lost. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again, but differently. Uh, yo. Okay. It takes a couple of tries to get the Apocalypse one done. Because until uh, you do, it's a matter of figuring out what works best for the map. I think I might not max out the ninja, but I'll give it uh, the stuff that it needs to be a, a good fighting force to begin with. Oh, no, we just leaked a bunch there. Also, the dart monkey, no. Let me put him there. He can do cleanup. Come on. More money, come on. <coughs> Little more is all I'm asking. Oh, excuse me. Okay. That'll help a little bit, then we'll get this sharp shuriken one to really help us out here. Once we get that, not much should get past us until that one round that killed us last time. We go okay easy all right next i need to get up the sniper monkey so he can deal with those strong balloons that start coming in after us uh, later on because once those start hitting us we are going to be screwed go I also need him to fire faster. Which is going to be very important. I think we lost again. I'm gonna get a glue guy down here to start slowing him a little bit so the ninja has more time to uh, react. Unfortunately, those are all camouflaged. Okay. Made it through that somehow. There we go. Full glue soak is on. Okay. I think next we try to get a sub down to uh, help us out with this stuff. We are still struggling quite a bit here. And we lost. <laughs> That's how it goes. Okay, let's start with the submarine. How about that?
You'll see why here if we can get to the place I need us to get to. But it might be hard to do. Come on. There we go. Perfect, perfect. We're doing good. Let's see how this goes. I can buy that upgrade if needed, but maybe I can get Benjamin early. If I can, that'd be a huge help. So far, so good. I think round 15 or so is when it starts getting really hard, though, if I remember correctly. I think we made it to, like, what, 25 last time? We are going to lose to the first camo balloon that comes through, though, because we don't have any anti-camouflage right now. But that will be fine. Okay. Benjamin, come! Alright, so now with Benjamin down, we'll actually start earning money at the end of rounds. Rather than just having nothing happen and just relying on completely the uh, popping of balloons occurring. Come on. He can pop camouflage balloons now, so don't have to worry about as much as that. Let's grab that. This hurts. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Upgrade our crossbow monkey. Hold. Hold, friend, hold. We got this. Maybe. So it looks like round 20 is the hard part here. And luckily with Benjamin, once he hits a certain level, he'll start regenerating our hearts after each round. So we can hold, we can kind of regenerate them. And not have to worry too much about that matter. This one's gonna suck though. Oh, I thought the blue one for camouflage too. Never mind. Okay. I need to get 3,000 before I buy this upgrade. So let's see what happens first. Do I get 3,000 or do I have to pop down a sniper monkey to deal with uh, the awful metal balloons. I don't think I can take a single metal one right now. Especially if any more leak through. Come on. A little more money. Luckily, once the uh, camouflage balloons are in range of the crossbow monkey, uh, the sub can shoot them too. There we go. Hold up. We got this. Oh, yeah. Okay, most things will not be able to get past it now. Oh, yeah. So much better. Okay. We need to get down our uh, sniper friend now. Deal with any leads. Actually, that can pop leads, so it doesn't really matter too much, but... We're going to have to deal with the Moab here soon, so that is important. All right, we should have this in the bag now. We shouldn't have to worry too much about anything except for, like, the Moab and then 
the balloons that are like ceramic and stuff that can make it through here pretty much undetected. and get the anti-Moab thing here quick before we uh, do anything else. Which will be cutting it tight considering we don't get extra money at the end of rounds except for Benjamin. So we are going to be short a little bit of cash here, but it should work out. We've got five rounds to get 4,000. Let's see if we can get that. Seems like I got a the ceramic popper in just the right amount of time there. Excellent. Perfect. Oh yeah, we'll get 4,000. No problemo. And... Anti-Moab, all right. So next up, I want a... Uh... I'm gonna get a Ninja Monkey down here. And I'm gonna get a Glue Monkey down here as well. Just to kind of help keep them the hell out of here. Basically, I want to stop everything from moving through here as quickly as possible. That way, they are in the, uh, the Plutonium subs area of effect for longer. And they take more damage. Because some of them like to just pass right on through like that. I'm going to have this Ninja Monkey target the strongest. Same with this boy here. Get that sticky bomb to help take out some Moabs. Let's get... I'm gonna get this guy here. Oh! Ah! Yep, that's about right. Okay. Let's restart. I think we'll cheat a bit. Okay. Powers! What do we got from monkeys? Ah, uh, I don't like that. Let's get... Two, three. Perfect. Right here. Alright. Now we have us enough time to deal with most stuff. Ugh. So all these powers and stuff here, you can pretty much buy through the, uh, the, you can buy through the game with like the money you get at the end of winning a match. Same with the monkeys, I think you can do that. You also get monkeys for free for uh, just completing round 100, which if you do co-op, that's pretty easy to do. Just uh, do an easy difficulty mission. That way you maximize your money and you can get there pretty easily. I have, I have not lost a single round 100 on co-op, with the exception of one where one of my teammates was trolling, and uh, what he did, which was very rude of him by the way, is he put down a, uh, a sun temple, and he started with like a super monkey, so it looked like he was helping, right? Um, well, the thing about the sun temple is, anything that's in the radius of the sun avatar, any other monkeys die. They all like get eaten. And so what this guy did is he uh, he's used this to sacrifice all of like our teammates monkeys that were in the surrounding area. And after he did that, he destroyed the temple. So that way a bunch of balloons were going through. And I started to see that he was going to do that. I started to build away from it. So that way 
uh, we could at least try to win. And uh, we ended up actually losing because of that nonsense. But that's that's just how shit happens sometimes, you know? Let's see. I can get another one. Or... I can do this. Get a merchant man down. Give him some hot shot here. Although I should have just waited until I had Benjamin to put him down first. Damn. Well, the merchant man will make me some money. So he'll protect this area here, but the helicopter is going to do his job anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. There's Benjamin. Now I can get this next. So powers are a little cheating, but it's a single player game and you get these just from playing it anyway. So I don't mind using them if I have to, especially on stuff like Apocalypse where you're like under damage stuff. Yeah. I don't care about those. I got a lot of these repair monkeys. I guess I can kind of just put them down. More turrets. Ooh, is stuff getting a little hard? Looks like it. Also, I don't think I have camo. Nope, I don't have camo, except for this guy here. Okay. Let's, uh, <coughs> actually fight by, uh, getting this guy up here. I might as well plop down my other balloon monkey down here, too. My little dart monkey boy. Plop, bleep, plop, ploppity plop. Air burst. So the reason I uh, I just bought the submerge and support one first, is so that the helicopter can deal with the uh, the camouflage balloons. We just had to have something that could see the camouflage. So that's what that one does. The submerge and support kind of sucks. Because all it does is uh, reveal camouflage. It doesn't attack or damage anything. That's what the plutonium reactor is for. Um, I mean, you can have them come up and just kind of put them back down whenever you need, like, camouflage to be revealed. But it's a risky maneuver, especially if you're running on very fast, like I do. Because it can cause you to miss them and you deal less damage than anyway. So, like that. We're almost there. I will need an anti-Moab thing here shortly. I got Moab Shove. I should be able to do pretty well with that. But I would rather have a sniper. At least for right now. I'll at least get him up to the uh, Deadly Precision one so he can pop ceramics and deal more damage. That way he can take down a Moab, even if he doesn't stop it and stunlock the thing. pirate ship next right about right about like right about here screw it right there so instead of going this last path like this one is i'm gonna go up here so that i fire faster and we'll double up the weapons i'm gonna get the 
cannon upgrade next. Then I'm going to get this pirate monkey improvement. A little bit more. And got it. Now I'm just going to kind of focus on merchantmen to get more uh, income going, while also increasing the damage in the surrounding areas. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Good income now. 21,000 for that, alright. See if I can make it that far. Oh, shit. Yeah, we lost. Just gonna do that then. That's the way we're gonna play it. All right, let's give it a shot. That's right. Now you stupid Moabs can't come after me, can you? It's insane what like one or two ability, one two extra upgrades can do. There we go. We win. All right. Let's try out another advanced, shall we? Um, let's go to a couple to choose from here, or we we'll go to an expert one. Expert ones are always. Interesting. Let's do Dark Castle. With magic monkeys only. Ooh. All right, so this is how this one works. They come from these four paths, and then they go across here, and if they reach here, we lose. So, this is like kind of a choke point. That's where I'll be putting some of my monkers is around that. So we're going to put this guy here. And we're going to hopefully very quickly get this ninja discipline because we are going to lose a couple lives here. We just kind of need to catch our breath and then we can get Benjamin down. Not even going to worry about the Seeking Shuriken right now. I need this one first. Go. Now she can see it. Seeking shuriken so that I can actually uh, have the shuriken bounce off and hit some stuff. And we got it now. Right, so now we should be able to catch our breath a little bit. Which isn't really saying much. But I also just absolutely make sure we're not going to have any leakage here. I'm going to get a magic monkey down. Right there. Okay. He's going to attack the strongest. Fireball. Okay. 
Okay. So our strength here is going to be the magic monkeys and their firewalls. Because when they have firewall, it makes it pretty much impossible for anything to pass by. And that's why I put them here and not closer over here, because this firewall is always going to be in this area. Which is what's going to help out a lot. So far, the ninja monkey's putting in work. It's popped a thousand blooms so far. We'll get Benjamin first here. Come on. There we go. Perfect, just in time. All right, next thing we need is the firewall. Because we're starting to leak. There we go. I'm also going to make him uh, be able to pop camouflage. <clears throat> going to get down to Caltrops. Alright, our major problem now is going to be from Moabs, so we need to place the Ninja Monkey down here to get those. We have until round 40 for that, so... First, I'm going to focus on getting a couple of ninja monkeys down here and here to help stem the flow. That'll be the first thing. Lost a couple there, but that's fine. Next, we're looking to get the flash bombs. Almost there. We have to do this one, I think, first, actually, though. Okay. Then I'll give the sticky bomb to this guy. Because I don't want to spread myself too thin and have no Moab coverage. I want to make sure at least one of them has a Moab thing before I give it to uh, anyone else. Although, almost that could give it to this guy to use. But it's too late. We've already gambled on this one. Give it to this guy second. I'm gonna have these guys target the strong ones first. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough time to get two of these. I'll try my damage though. You're targeting strong, right? Yeah, you we keep leaking a little bit by a little bit. Don't like that. A little more, and I got this upgrade. Boop. All right. It's in God's hands now. Let's hope the Moab comes from the top. Oh, thank God. Got it. But now they can come from both, so... <laughs> That's gonna be a whole thing. You know what? Dragon Breath upgrade, let's go. Just delete those balloons. Moab sticky bomb next. Oh man, this is insane. There we go. 
get this last ninja monkey leveled up, then we can start focusing back on the choke point. Flame Monkey is doing work now. He's almost already caught up to this guy. The Flame Wall really just goes to town on the balloons. Next. That way I can work on pushing the balloons back if they get too close. Also going to increase the amount of fire boys that I got here. Oh no, that was too close for comfort. really way too close, man. I might have to uh, get something else here quick. Oh my god, that was... It was almost in. This is not good. Gonna have the super monkey attack the strongest first. That way he can deal more damage to the Moabs. Good god. Terrifying. It only takes like a second to lose the game. If Luigi gets slightly overran by Moabs, we're screwed. Yep. Just like that. Oof. I don't think I want to do that one again. It's a little rough. Okay. Let's try a normal advanced one. Hmm. I could try magic monkeys here, maybe? Question mark? Because I think the ninja can just barely fit there. Okay. We're good. This one's going to be a bit harder. Because that's the only platform that can hit everything. The other monkeys I'm going to have to put, like, just stand on one little area. So this guy's going to have to be our uh, home run hitter here. please okay let's get Benjamin down next and then we'll uh, decide where to go from there because I'm not entirely sure will prove challenging. All right. So I'm thinking I put a magic monkey like here and like here maybe, and then I go the top route, but also get the flame thing because I think that they can potentially put the flame wall through walls. As long as there's a track there, you know? So I think that's going to be the plan. 
All right, here's Benjamin. Stick him there. We'll try out my theory next. Luckily, they do one full like cycle here, so he has a lot of popping time, which is very nice. My concern is going to be the Moabs. I'm not sure how to take those out. Because they'll come from every side. I guess I just get this guy to be an anti-Moab. And that just, just pray that he manages to mess them all up. I wanted to go with the top route to have him just throw a bunch of shuriken in here and just become a blunder, essentially. But this is the only way I can guarantee I'll have an anti-Moab for the right one. It's quite unfortunate. Also, the stun bomb will really help in here, too, because it'll just stop all the balloons from moving. Can't pop metal though. Nope, oh, the fire's inside. Okay, he can. Perfect. This will be my victory plan. works. It looks like the splash bomb can actually destroy the uh, uh, lead balloons, so that's... I didn't know that. This monkey's gonna be a one-man killing machine. A little more. Oof, we leaked a little bit there. Hate to see it. Okay. So I'll leave him there to do his thing. Let's try to get this guy up so he can try to help a little bit further. So if I get the Arcane Mastery, then I can have him, this little wizard, attack Moabs too. I'm actually going to have him attack the strong ones first. Come on, mate. Come on. Okay, now I have a better view inside there, so I might be able to just shoot stuff through the wall, question mark? Also, the guided magic kind of flies around, so that's going to be useful. I... I wonder... So if I put a monkey there, he'll 100% be able to hit with his fire in that area. But if I increase their range, can they hit both of the lanes? Partially, okay. I'm in. Let's see how this first MOAP goes. I'm going to be mostly using the magic monkeys, or the magician monkeys. Okay. This can go any way now. So 
if I do this, I can have some extra defense along the line. The problem is the Moabs. I'm not going to have enough money to uh, upgrade them all to the anti-Moab boys, unfortunately. So I guess the challenge is, I just save up money until I need one, and then I just plop down an anti-Moab. Okay, that'll be the plan. How much is it for the anti-Moab guy, though? It's gonna be 3,000 plus 5,000, which is 5, 6, 7, 8,000? So I can now place a Moab killer. Gotta be quick about it. Wait for it. I got it. Nice. Gonna ignore that one because I can't do it in time. Monkeys, please, you're letting him leak. What are you doing? Monkeys! Yeah, this one's tough. <sighs> Replenish lives. Let's... I'm trying to think here. I could put down some magic monkeys, but the thing is, I don't know if it would help me right now. The magic monkeys aren't excessively strong or anything. Um, not that. Get, get, get that out of here. So these guys can't see stealth. That might be part of the reason why we were screwed there. Ah, fuck. I'm trying to think. Do I add more monkey? Target strong. Target strong. Target strong. Target strong. You guys will target first. Okay. So with them doing that, these guys will target the strongest. They'll target the first, so if there's someone going out, they'll kill them. Let's see how this goes. It's a real shame the wizard <clears throat> It's a real shame the wizards are useless right now. Although I could I don't think I can actually. I don't think that'll hit. I think only the side ones hit. Damn. I was thinking about putting a wizard down to like just create fire right here and have the uh, uh, stealth kill. So we can kill stealth stuff, but not gonna work. So far, so good. We made it past that one round, which is nice. Good. Speed it up.
up there as the matter. Get them, monkeys, go! It's really liking this one path. Um, upgrade him. Go. Now he's got the bottom two that need to be upgraded. But you know what? Let's just get bombs down there. We'll get the uh, bombs. Okay. Now I can worry about the uh, sticky bombs here in a moment. Flash bombs will help to stop people getting in and out. Rough. Great you that button. Okay, I just need one more sticky bomb that I'll have every route covered with early sticky bombs. Let's see if we win. Not really. Oof. God, it's way too close. I don't like that. Cyclones up so we can push back balloons if we need to. Which we will need to. I wonder if the sticky bombs actually stack or not. That's the one major question I have. Pressure off of them. There. Here comes the Moabs. That. Okay. Uh, what next? What next? What next? Not even sure. I could work on getting this guy his arcane killer thing. I could get these guys their lightning balls. I could put more people down. I don't know. That doesn't need questioning. Uh-oh. 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 Shit. I'm not sure we're going to win even if I do spend more money. Because it'll only give me, like, at most, 
10,000 extra coins to spend, right? If I do that, I mean, I could upgrade one of the uh, little druid boys and get his stuff up. All right, let's try it one more time. Let's see how much it gives me. 8,000, huh? Okay. Let's remove that. I'm not sure if this guy can shoot inside here. I know he can put his fire down, but I'm not sure if he can put, like, actually cast into it. You know what? Let's take this one down, too. 4,000. 4,000. Let's give it a shot. They can't have camos anyway. Never mind. It doesn't matter. That was the thing that got me with the camos. I don't know how, but we're doing it. Not for long, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it really happening? Are we holding? Yo. I don't know how the hell we're doing this, but okay. My plan was to actually get them all Shimmer, but I might not need to do that if I just get them all Dragon Breath. They'll do a lot of damage against everything else, if that's the case. In fact, I can at least get three out of the four paths covered by a Dragon Breath monkey, we might be able to do this. I cannot believe we held on by like one HP there though. That was insane. Which is absolutely insane. Come on, I need one more. One more Dragon Breath monkey. Oh, yeehaw. Okay, that side definitely did not hold. Now, can I get another one? Got him. Okay. It's in R in Jesus' hands now. Can my monkeys? Can my monkeys kill the balloons? That's the question. I have nothing else to give them. They're on their own for now. Okay, barring any massive catastrophe, I think we got this. I'm kind of curious, where do these bleed? They go back on the same way they came. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wasn't entirely sure. We won! We only had to restart twice. So we definitely did not make our money back. Actually, we did, because it was only like... 600 that we spent, right? So we made an extra 60 bucks. Cool. On these hard ones, that's kind of all you have to do is just kind of hope that you break even or anything like that. But, uh, everyone, it's been two hours. So we're going to be calling things here so we don't keep playing monkeys or balloons for another, like, couple hours because it's it's pretty addicting game. I, I can literally just sit and play it for hours at a time. Um, it's a shame that my first game, Eternal Radiance, turned out to be not so uh, not so good. Uh, I am unfortunately probably going to refund it because it uh, it's unplayable the way that the camera is for me. I, I just cannot. It seemed like it was going to be okay until I saw the camera move, and the fact that it moves by itself was just awful. I, I can't deal with that. Um, so I'm going to be returning that game. So for next week, I have no idea what we're going to be playing. Um, nothing.
something. Uh, actually, wait. I think I think a specific, I think one game comes out on like the twenty sixth. I think it was. What was it? Is this the game? This one right here. This this thing. That was April. Which eh, April is next week. There was some that released on the 26th. I forget what it was exactly, but uh, there's this game called Outriders that comes out on April. I could potentially play that um, one of those days. Although I think everyone else is going to be playing that too. What else do I have on my wish list that's like releasing? I forget. I don't know. But regardless, everyone, thank you all for hanging out, sticking around and all that. I'll figure something out for next week. We'll be playing something. Uh, but for now... We'll end things. The VOD will be up on YouTube if you missed anything. If you want to see me struggle with the camera controls and internal radiance, that is. Uh, otherwise, if you want to miss watch balloons again, you can do that as well. Uh, it'll take me a while because I forgot to hit record while I was streaming. So I'm going to have to download it from Twitch and then upload it to YouTube. So it's going to be a bit longer than usual. So anyway, everyone, take it easy and I will see you next time. Bye bye.